Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I just wanted to start off this video by briefly mentioning that I am not 100%. Um, I'm actually coming down with a cold. So if I sound weird or I look like tired and pale, that is why. Um, but I didn't film a video last week, so I really wanted to get one up for you this week. And it's on a topic that I am really excited about because I thought I would film a video all around Parisian inspired outfits. Um, one of my absolute favourite things to do is to go to Paris and sit outside a cafe with a glass of wine and people watch because their outfits are just the absolute best, especially for me when it comes to autumn because I just feel like they do a minimal chic outfits just so, so well. And obviously my style is very much minimal as well, so I feel like it does kind of lean in to Parisian style quite a lot. Um, obviously, I'm not claiming to be French, so please don't come for me if I get it a little bit wrong. Um, but I'm hoping you're going to love the outfits in this video. Um, so I'm going to start off with what I am wearing now. This is a new in outfit from Urban Revivo, who I am excited to be working with on this part of the video. Um, I do have a 15% off discount code, which is just Lily C. So I will leave all the details in the description box. Um, but yeah, that will get you 15% off your order. Um, so this outfit, I just felt screamed Parisian style so much. Um, this skirt I am completely obsessed with. It is a midi skirt in a linen and cotton blend, which I guess you wouldn't normally associate linen and cotton with like autumn, but it is quite a thick fabric and it's also lined. So I feel like it's perfect for this time of year. Um, it kind of reminds me of like a trench coat fabric, to be honest. Um, so yeah, perfect for autumn, but will also be gorgeous in spring as well. Um, it's got the nicest shape to it, so it's very kind of like figure hugging up top. It's got the pleats that kind of start right at the top, and then it flows out as it goes past your hips, which I think is so gorgeous. Um, I've been seeing these like voluminous style midi skirts quite a lot at the minute. If I can find any like inspo pics, I'll pop some in to the side. But you can definitely dress them down and style them quite casually with juxtaposing the like dressiness of the skirt with something more casual on top. Um, but to keep it feeling super Parisian and classic, I've gone for a dressier look with this classic off the shoulder knit. Um, this is from Urban Revivo as well and it's like a super fine, very very soft knit classic bardo style and yeah just an easy easy one to style but looks perfect paired with the skirt um, so styling wise you could just keep it like completely plain this literally fits me like a glove so it doesn't necessarily need a belt um, but I normally do like to add one just to kind of like cinch in my waist that little bit more and just kind of break up the outfit a little bit um, so this one is my classic Celine belt, you will have seen thousands of times. Um, and then I probably go for something quite dressy footwear wise. Um, I recently picked up these black leather slingbacks. They're like the perfect heel height. And I know I'm just going to wear these so much throughout autumn and winter. Um, so yeah, I feel like these are perfect with this look. And then my little Demelia clutch bag, um, just to keep it feeling quite evening, like a dinner in Paris style kind of outfit. And then to finish off the look, I have just added my trench coat over the top. Um, this is near enough the exact same colour and tone as the skirt. So I just feel like these pair perfectly together. And I feel like tying in the two beige tones just like really brings the look together and makes it feel super autumnal and of course very Parisian inspired at the same time. So of course I had to include a couple of these cropped jackets in this video because not only are they very Parisian inspired but they're also everywhere at the minute. Um, it's definitely a big trend and it has been for the past like year or so I would say but they are also such a classic piece. I get so, so much wear out of mine and Urban Revivo have so many different styles on their website. So if you are on the hunt for the perfect cropped like boucle style jacket, then definitely have a look on there. Um, so this one is also Urban Revivo and I am honestly obsessed. 
I feel like this fits me so, so well, especially on the shoulders. It's just like the perfect fit. Um, I love wearing jackets like this open with something underneath, but because this one fits so well, I just wanted to style it done up so it is super clean and minimal. Um, I'm wearing an extra small by the way, so I would say it is completely true to size. And the fabric is gorgeous. It almost kind of looks like knitted in a way, but it's definitely more of like a jacket style. It's got a lining and yeah, I just think it is so beautiful. The perfect tone of cream and works really, really well with these wide leg trousers. Um, these are a slightly thicker fabric, so they are just perfect for the colder months. Um, I've had these for a year now and I wear them loads, um, so I will leave those linked if they are still in stock. Um, styling wise for this, I thought it would work really nicely with some tan accessories. Um, these are my trusty June heels that I've had so long. They are very, very well loved. I know some people are funny about wearing open toes in autumn, but it's definitely warm enough at the minute in the UK. Um, so yeah, I think you can definitely get away with it. But likewise, I think a sling back would work just as well. Um, and then because the buttons on the jacket are really quite a like bright gold, um, I feel like it works best with a bag with like minimal hardware. Um, so this is my Palen bag. Um, yeah, I just think this works so, so beautifully together and definitely another Parisian inspired look. I feel like this one would be perfect for a really like dressy lunch, maybe for like a birthday, um, or if you were going to like a really nice hotel for drinks, that kind of occasion. I feel like this will be a look that I would 100% reach for. So the base layer for the next look is this really cute little pleated mini skirt and classic black knit. Both of these pieces are from Urban Revivo. Um, the skirt is such a nice quality. I love the camel colour. Again, it's kind of similar in the fact that it's got these pleats which are quite tight at the top and then flare out. Um, I love this and I feel like this is definitely the nicest mini skirt I've come across so far this season. Again, this is another trend but definitely still feels a classic to me. I also don't like my mini skirts to be too short um, and this one definitely isn't. I've got it on with a tight at the minute because I normally wear them like that but I could definitely get away with the bare legs with this as well because it definitely covers enough at the back. Um, so the knit I've styled it with is like a really thick and very, very soft um, ribbed knit. It's got the wider cuffs with this gold button detail. I feel like it looks really, really expensive. Um, and then it's got the same button detailing on the shoulder. And I think this is like, is this a boat neck? I'm not really sure, but I really like the way this kind of like skims the neck. I feel like it looks very chic and again, very Parisian inspired. Okay, and then styling wise for this one, I didn't want to go too heavy on the top layer because obviously this is an autumn outfit video. So I've gone for a classic, slightly oversized black blazer. Um, this is kind of like the perfect length to wear with the skirt. Um, and then I always do knee high boots when I'm wearing a mini skirt. Um, these ones are from last year, but I will try and leave something similar linked. And then I've gone for my classic Celine bag, which I actually bought in Paris for my 25th birthday, almost two years ago now. Um, I actually did wear a outfit very, very similar to this one whilst I was in Paris. I will pop a picture into the side. Um, obviously I was wearing a different skirt, but the outfit itself was near enough the exact same. Um, and yeah, I just feel like this one is kind of like an elevated everyday style look. Would be perfect for like a shopping day and like lunch, that kind of thing. And yeah, I just thought it was really cute and one I have already tried and tested in Paris. So next up we have another monochrome beige look centered around this gorgeous cardigan from Urban Revivo. I love wearing cardigans as tops. I feel like they give such cozy autumnal vibes. Um, this one is such nice quality. It's like a really kind of heavyweight, thick knit. I love that it's cropped. I feel like it's the perfect length to wear with something high-waisted. And especially if you're petite, I find like cropped things to be really flattering because they make your legs look a little bit longer. 
Um, I also love the balloon sleeve detail on this. Um, I've just done up two of the buttons here. You could obviously do them all up, but I feel like it looks really cute like that. And I really like the shape it gives to the waist as well. Um, again, it's like the perfect tone of cream. And I've just paired it with this satin slip skirt as more of an evening look. Um, I definitely wear this in Paris. I feel like it would be perfect. Um, but even in the UK, if I was going out for not like too dressy of a dinner, but still kind of dressy, I feel like this is a great autumn look. And as it gets colder, you can just pop a coat over your shoulders or just like over the top. I also think this would make a really, really nice Christmas day outfit. I know we're like a couple of months away yet, but it will come around so quickly. And yeah, I feel like this would be perfect for that. Um, so styling wise, I think I'd keep it quite monochrome with the footwear. Um, these are the exact same heels as the black ones I showed you at the start of the video, but just in cream. Um, so if you are looking for any classic slingbacks, then I will leave both pairs linked. Um, and then you could, I guess, go for a cream bag, but I feel like it would be a little bit too much. So I've just added a little pop of colour with my vintage Dior saddle pochette. Um, this was one of my first ever designer bag purchases and admittedly it doesn't get as much love as it used to but it really does hold a special place in my heart. I remember the first time I went to Paris I took this bag with me and I wore it all the time. Um, so yeah I thought this worked really well with this monochrome cream look. So the next outfit is like my go-to autumn outfit formula when I want to look like smart and put together but still comfortable. This is the kind of outfit that I will wear. Um, I'm wearing some tailored trousers with a classic black bodysuit and then this gorgeous crop jacket from Urban Revivo. Um, this one again is just such nice quality, a really nice like weave and this one has like antique brass um, buttons which I love. Um, it's quite a cropped fit, slightly more cropped than the Cree one I showed you earlier. Um, I think this one does come in cream as well and I know that the cream one comes in black so there definitely are a few different options if you are on the hunt for a new crop jacket. Um, but this one I would say definitely comes up a little bit on the smaller side. I'm wearing an extra small and it definitely does fit nicely but I don't think I could really do this up and it feel comfortable. Um, it's just a little bit tighter on my shoulders so I would say to potentially size up one size in this if you do go for this style. Um, but yeah like I said these trousers are just like a classic tailored straight leg. Um, again, I've got my Celine belt on and for accessories, I'd go for some black ballet flats. Um, these ones are Prada. I picked them up at Abista Village earlier in the year. I think it was like March time. And oh my God, I have worn these so, so much. I'm really, really bad with shoes and like scuffing them. But these so far are still in like really good condition. Um, so they were definitely a worthwhile investment for me. Um, and then my bag is from Cafune. I felt like the greyish tones of the trousers worked really nicely with the bag. Um, this definitely has like a Parisian feel to it and uh, kind of smartens the look up a little bit. Um, but yeah, I love this one. Like I said, it is such a go-to everyday look for me. Um, this jacket is gorgeous as well. So yeah, I will leave it linked along with all the other Urban Revivo pieces. And don't forget, you can use my code LILYC for 15% off your order. So for some reason, this next look is giving me really Montmartre vibes. I don't know why, but I could just imagine someone going antique book shopping and then stopping off for a coffee and a pastry in this outfit. Um, the blazer is a new purchase from And Other Stories. It's the most gorgeous checked wall blazer in a slightly oversized fit, but it definitely doesn't feel too oversized. I just absolutely love it. Um, and then I've paired it with this cream t-shirt from Cos. I feel like this like off-white creamy tone just feels a little bit softer than like a true white. Um, and then my jeans are from Cos. I love these. I wear them all the time. They're one of my comfiest pairs of jeans. Um, they're like a darker wash, which I think gives off a little bit of a Parisian vibe. They're also like a cropped straight leg, which I love. Um, I've gone for my black Celine belt. And then would again do my black Prada ballet flats with this look. 
Um, and then I feel like it's a little bit controversial and admittedly I do normally go quite matchy matchy with my shoes and my bag but because this blazer has like black and beige and brown like threads running through it I feel like you can kind of pick out any of the tones in like the blazer um, so I've gone for this chocolate brown bag to finish off the look um, this is from Katie Loxton. It's really, really affordable and a really good size everyday shoulder bag. Um, but yeah, I know people are a little bit funny about black and brown together. But I think for this outfit, I really quite like the combination. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a little bit different for me, but definitely feels quite French. Um, and yeah, I love this blazer from And Other Stories, so I thought I had to include it. I feel like you see a satin skirt everywhere in Paris, and I'm sure all of you already own a black satin skirt. So I thought I would show you another outfit that I have been loving recently. Um, my skirt is Arquette. If any of you are on the hunt for a good one, then I would highly recommend this one. It's such a nice quality and a really good fit. Um, a really nice length as well, actually. Um, and then the jumper is actually also Arquette. This is a black cashmere knit. Um, a very classic style and kind of slightly cropped. So it makes it easier to tuck in without like having that bulkiness around your waistband. Just takes a little bit of faffing to get it straight. But yeah, I feel like you can definitely get away with it with this one. Um, and then I've gone for my tan Celine belt this time. Um, just to break up the like dark black tones a bit. Um, again, I'd style this with my ballet flats. Um, and then with my tan Palem bag to tie in with the belt. And then I shall just grab my trench coat now. Okay, so I've just popped on my trench to finish off the look. Um, this is the same one I was wearing earlier. And I don't think I mentioned, but it's from Rosé Paris. It's a new in piece in my wardrobe and this has quickly become my favourite trench coat that I own and I do own quite a few but I just feel like it is such a classic tone and style. It really reminds me of the Totem trench which I've always really loved but this is definitely a lot cheaper. Um, I mean don't get me wrong this is definitely still a pricey piece but the quality is 100% there, it is absolutely gorgeous and it's such a classic and I know it will be around in my wardrobe for years and years to come. Um, so yeah, that is the final look. I actually wore this out the other day. Um, I'll pop the post from Instagram to the side. Um, but yeah, I feel like these tones just feel very, very autumnal and I feel like this one would be a really easy one to recreate with similar pieces you likely already have in your wardrobe. So I wanted to include another more casual look, so I thought I would go for another cardigan outfit. Um, this one is the viral Kate Duke cardigan from H&M. Um, my one is from last year, but they did also bring it out in black, which I have. And I've also ordered the beige version that they've literally just brought out the other day. So that is on its way. Um, so yeah, they keep bringing out this cardigan in different colours. And every time I see them, I share it straight on my story over on Instagram. Um, my handle is Lily Isabella Clark, in case any of you don't already follow me over there. Um, but yeah, it is such a nice cardigan. The shape is just perfect. The only thing I would say is that last year's version, the one I'm wearing now, is definitely a lot softer than this year's version. Um, this year's is 100% wool, so gorgeous quality, whereas this one from last year has 10% cashmere in there as well. Um, but yeah, otherwise they are the exact same and definitely a good alternative to the very expensive Kate Cardigans. Um, styling wise, I've gone for some black tailored trousers. These are the 1999 ones from H&M. Everyone needs a pair of these in their life. They are just the best. Um, really good quality and yeah, just such a great purchase for the price. Um, they're like a straight ankle length as well. Obviously, you'll see how they look in the cutaways. Um, and then I've just gone for a classic white t-shirt from Cars and this are kept horse bits belt just to give you a break from the Celine belt. Um, so footwear wise, I think you could go for a couple of options. Um, these are my m and ballet flats. I will try and leave something similar to these links because I think they're out of stock now. 
Um, or to keep it feeling even more casual, I think you could definitely do a trainer with this look. These are the classic Adidas Sambas. I'm not sure whether Parisians would wear these. I don't know if they're a bit too basic, but I feel like they just work with so many outfits. So I had to buy into the trend. Um, and yeah, I've worn them so much already. So they were definitely a practical buy. And then for my bag, I'd go for the Dubellia Midi New York. This is definitely my most worn bag. Um, I just love how it looks with like casual outfits and obviously it fits so much as well. So I wasn't actually going to include this outfit because I feel like I've shown it so many times on my channel already. It was definitely my most worn outfit back in spring and I've already been wearing it a lot so far in autumn too. Um, and I also realised I hadn't shown you anything striped in this video, which I feel like would be a crime considering this is a Parisian inspired outfits video. Um, so I wanted to include this piece, which is definitely my most worn striped piece in my wardrobe. It's my Massimo Duty cardigan from last year. Um, they brought something out very similar this year so I will leave that option linked or also Mango brought one out which is almost identical so if that is still in stock then I will leave that linked too um, but yeah I think it's so cute again with the gold button detailing and then I've just styled it with this black long sleeved bodysuit from Abercrombie and um, this is the same one that I showed you with one of the other outfits before but it's just such a good basic and again it's got that kind of slashed neck kind of style which I love um, and then I've gone for some mum jeans. These are my trusty Zara mum jeans that I've had many years now. Um, again, with my Celine belt, my Prada ballet fats, and my Demelia London bag. Uh, but yeah, those are all the outfits I had to show you in today's video. I really enjoyed filming this one, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you prefer that style where I kind of talk through the outfits and how I'm kind of layering it up. Um, I do like filming videos in that way and I think for like styling videos it does work especially well. Um, so yeah, if you do enjoy it as well then I can definitely do more videos like this. Um, but thank you so so much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And hopefully I will see you for my next video. Bye!